Hello everyone and welcome to the realest nigga alive. A lot of y'all been asking me to make a video about white privilege. And the issue with that is that lately I've been studying, for me? I no longer think that there is such a thing. And I actually have proof. I'm sorry that I didn't give y'all a trigger warning. Probably should have gave a trigger warning before showing that very graphic, traumatizing content. Not only is white privilege not even a thing, but white people are oppressed by music. And music is the language of the soul. So if you can't speak that, uh, you know, I always used to wonder why white people go viral whenever they do black dances. And it's actually not because of cultural appropriation. It's because when a white person actually dances to the beat successfully and not dance to the words, it's almost like watching a dog take a shit in the toilet. When they hit the nene and the reverse, and when they hit the folks, it's like, that shit blows up. When a black person does it, it's just regular, like nobody really cares. And it's not because of cultural appropriation, it's because of the shock value because white people are like pugs they're cute because they're small but they're ugly and useless black people have pretty privilege white people need to work twice as hard just to be half as musically skilled eminem and eight mile is like white people's david and goliath film because he was the underdog he wasn't supposed to be good at that like a white rapper it's crazy. Think about the niggas that they look up to musically. Beethoven, their musical idol is a nigga that's deaf. They talk so much shit about black people not being able to read, like Mayweather. But black people don't have to read because we feel our circumstances. We feel reality around us. Mayweather has still managed to be successful without reading. So what does that tell you about white people's standard of intelligence? They make fun of us for not being able to read because they have to read. We don't have to read music. We don't have to read music theory. We just feel it. We feel it and we feel it. You feel me? We got a white boy like Jacob Collier wearing dashikis and playing all this black shit. Hello, welcome one. And he's very technically skilled in music theory. He, he could sing microtones. He could sing any fucking scale you want, my nigga. Like, I could sit here and be like, and this nigga could dead tell you what chord that is right now without looking. He has developed that. And yet he still sounds like Sam Smith yawning. Sticks and stars, I'm gonna have a little more. No matter how intricate these reharmonizations they try to make, it still lacks soul. It's crazy because white people can only analyze, they cannot feel. They are sonically oppressed, musically and institutionally. They just now discovering that ancestral trauma was a thing. But black people and other people of color and indigenous people around the world been connected to their ancestors. We always felt the trauma of our ancestors. And these niggas need science to tell them that something is real because they're dissociated from reality. They cannot connect. Because one requires a soul to connect. A lot of the shit they discovering now is shit that we've been saying. Shit that we've been doing. That game Detroit become human. It's about them. It's about white people's dissociation from their humanity. They oppress themselves so fucking bad that they cannot even, they cannot even empathize to the point where everything is a study and an analysis. My beloved brothers and sisters. When white people call us niggas and subhumans, 
they were projecting the whole time. Because they didn't feel human the whole fucking time. Racism isn't a superiority complex. It's an inferiority complex. That's why they made complex. And there's nothing but black people on there. White people are the real niggas. And we need to stop culturally appropriating their word. It's the realest quarter nigga alive. See, black people hit the note. But white people couldn't even figure out that I was swinging my notes the whole time. Shit is crazy. Musical oppression. Well, one.